Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to access the command line interface of router R switch. So as we all know that like computers, routers and switches are also hardware devices and to operate them we need an operating system. And now to access that operating system in a router, we have different options like console, tenlet, or secure shell. Today we are going to discuss the console port. So see here's the console port. By using this console port, a user can use a rollover cable to get connected with the console port. And by using this console port, user can access the command line interface of, of a router. And today we are going to discuss that how to put a password on the console of a router. Now to set the password on console port of Cisco router, we are in the Cisco packet tracer. And to perform today's lab, we need a router and a computer. For that, we go to the device selection box here in the corner and select on the network devices. And once selected network devices, we will have different network devices here, like routers and switches, but we need a router at the moment. Just select any specific router from here, from device specific selection box, click here, and put it in, in the and the workspace of Cisco Packet Tracer. And uh, then we need a computer. Click on the end device and select a PC and click on the workspace of the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now to connect this computer to the router, we need a connection. So just go on the connection and device selection box. So this is the device selection box. Click on the connections. So we have different types of connections here. So you can see when you just hover the mouse over, so you can see the different names here. So at the moment we have console and now we have straight through. So from computer to the console port of the router, we need a console connection. So click on the console, then click on the computer. These are the different interfaces available on this computer. Click on RS232 and then click on the compute, sorry, router. On the router, we have the console port. Click on the console port. So finally, we are connected with the router's console port using a computer. Now, to access the IOS of the router from this computer, just click on the computer, click on desktop, click on terminal and leave this default settings of our terminal configuration. So say OK. After this, we are actually in the IOS of the Cisco routers. Now I want to emphasize that at this time, we are in the IOS, our operating system of the router, by using the terminal from this computer. So whatever lines you see at this time, they are actually from the router's IOS. Now scroll down. The IOS is asking for any initial configuration. So at the moment, we say no initial configuration and say enter. Press enter again. So now we are in the command line interface of the Cisco router and you can see the prompt and this prompt Sign shows that we are in the user mode. So we have discussed these modes in different video, but this prompt sign shows that now at the moment we are in the user mode of the Cisco IOS. So if you notice that at this time when we entered from this computer to the IOS of the Cisco router, Cisco router are the operating system of the Cisco router didn't ask for any password. In this video, we want to set the password so, so whenever a user access the Cisco routers or the IOS of the Cisco router using console port, he should be prompted for a password. And to do that, to set a password on the console port of the router, we need to go from this user mode to the privilege exec mode. And for that, we need a command that is enable, write enable and enter here. So after this command, we are in the privilege exec mode. From privilege exec mode, we need to go to the global configuration mode. And if you remember, 
for that we use a command configure terminal so configure with this command we are in the global configuration mode from this global configuration mode we need to go to the console port and for that we write line console 0 so line console 0 means now whatever commands we apply after this command they will be applied only to the console port of the of the router okay and from in this once we are in this uh, console we will use a command called login and the purpose of this command is to ask the operating system of the router for password check so after this command the router will check for the password and finally we will give will give the actual password which we will be using for giving access to someone to this Cisco IO. So just write password and any password for example in UB and EWPIE. So this is the password. So now we have applied the password to the Cisco router. So now after this point if a user accesses the router's command line interface he or she will be prompted for the password and to check that we need to come out of these modes just type exit we are in the privilege exit mode again exit we are out of this uh, mode and if we enter again right type exit so now we have we have we have come out of the IOS are the command line interface of the uh, Cisco router. Actually, we are there, but we haven't entered in the uh, in the user mode. So now we want to actually check it again. Does it really work like that? So we are going to close it here, and then click on the computer again. Terminal. Same terminal configuration. Okay, and now you can see we are trying to enter so we have these lines are from the ios of the router and scroll down and now press enter to access in the uh, user mode of the router so here it is so you can see now the router is asking for the password so user access verification is required which we wanted to have so this was the method method to set the password on the console port of the Cisco router. Now just give the password and EWPIE. So give, by giving this password, you have entered in the user mode of the router. So with these steps, we have actually set a password on the console port of the router. So after this, whenever user wants to access that router from the console port, he or she will be prompted for the password. And uh, I hope the steps were not complicated. I tried to cover the background and then set the password. I hope uh, you like it. Thank you.